carbon cycle. We all know that carbon is found all over the earth. You are right, Anita. Carbon is the key element in all living things. Do you know that carbon is found in plants, animals, food we eat, air we breathe, and in many more substances? We find carbon in the air as gaseous carbon dioxide. We find carbon in coal, petroleum, and natural gas. that is in fossil fuels shells and animal too contain carbon rocks under the ocean are rich in carbon carbon is also part of the soil and is dissolved in water such as oceans and lakes all plants and animals contain carbon we did it joy we named all the places where carbon exists yes but does carbon remain as it is in these or does it move around carbon surely moves it changes its direction it gets added or removed from the various substances let's see what changes happen to the presence of carbon on land all right let's watch what happens Green plants use carbon dioxide from air to make their food. This is called photosynthesis. That's right. However, plants also release carbon to the atmosphere through a process called respiration. Plants and trees die as they decompose and mix with the soil. Some of this plant matter gets compressed under the pressure of upper layers. This results in the formation of coal, petroleum and natural gas. Now, let's look at the carbon cycle in water. Through a process called diffusion, gases containing carbon move between the ocean surface and the atmosphere. I see. So plants in the ocean must use carbon dioxide from the water for photosynthesis. Ocean plants store this carbon just like land plants to get the carbon they store. Ocean plants and animals release carbon dioxide back into the water through respiration. When ocean plants and animals die, they decompose in the water. The decomposing plants and animals either sink to the deep ocean and dissolve or settle in the ocean floor where they get buried in the sediment some sea creatures can remove carbon gas from ocean water and use it to make their shells when these creatures die their carbon filled shells dissolve or settle on the ocean floor also although it takes a long time for rocks to form and wear down This process circulates carbon in water. Finally, water moving between the deep ocean and the surface also carries carbon. Some of the ocean's carbon then moves from the surface to the atmosphere. Anita, I think we have covered it all. We have explained how the carbon cycle works on land as well as within water. The only question is How do humans affect the carbon cycle? Let me show you. We human beings also have a role to play in the carbon cycle. We burn fossil fuels to run cars, produce electricity, manufacture goods. Burning fossil fuels is called combustion. We also contribute to the carbon cycle through deforestation. When we cut down or burn trees, 
they can no longer remove carbon dioxide from the air through photosynthesis. When we burn wood, the carbon in them becomes carbon dioxide and enters the atmosphere. The extraction and combustion of fossil fuels and deforestation moves carbon stored in the fuel and trees to the atmosphere. We know that carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. So, the addition of carbon to the atmosphere can contribute to global warming. It is important to understand the carbon cycle so we can see how human activities may lead to global warming. A carbon cycle refers to the cyclic changes that carbon undergoes in nature. Carbon in the form of carbon dioxide gets added to the air and gets removed from the air constantly. This addition and subtraction is so well balanced that the percentage of carbon dioxide remains remarkably steady at 0.03 to 0.04.